a suprapubic transverse scan to view the uterus and ovaries. I'm going to scan that part as well. Scan like this transversely. If you start from the bottom and go all the way up, when you scan the silver probe, you will see a picture like this now. This is now the bladder and from here to here is the uterus. And the right ovary and the left ovary appear as hypoetoic soft tissue. If you look more clearly, you can observe the cystic structures follicles shown inside. In any case, if this uterus is visible, it should be examined from the bottom up from the cervix to the fundus. The uterus should be evaluated by examining whether the uterus has deformities or localized protrusions. After looking at the widest area on the transverse, after stopping in this state, the AP diameter is less than 5 cm. It is a normal size when the left and right width is less than 6 cm. And the normal size of this ovary is up to 5 cm. Therefore, ovaries with follicles in a circular or elliptical relationship can be observed on both sides of the uterus. So please take a good look at it. Through a transverse skin in the suprapubic area. How to check the uterus and ovaries. If you give an angle to the feet like now, and skin it towards the head like this, then the uterus and both ovaries will be extracted at the same time. So, when it looked like it was now. So, this is the case on the body of the uterus. And the endonetrium is described as a bright line shade. And the length from the anterior view to the posterior view of this uterus does not exceed 5 centimeters. It's 3 centimeters now. It is normal that the left and right sides do not exceed 6 centimeters. It's about 4.6 centimeters now. And the normal size of one ovary should not exceed a maximum of 5 centimeters. Now it is shown in a round shape. Also, measure the size of this ovary and make sure it does not exceed 5 centimeters. Now this is the bladder. It is the anterior and posterior part of the uterus. And for women, a cul-de-sac fluid collection can be very important. And this is where the Douglas pouch comes in. It is normal because the urine does not look cystic because there is no fluid collection here. As you may have seen in the longitudinal scan, the cul-de-sac, where fluid collection can be seen, is now at the back of the uterus. From the transverse scan, it's right behind you. Therefore, it is important to closely examine the uterine fundus while scanning from bottom to top. I can see it like this. So we looked at the overall shape and size of the uterus and ovaries.